Okay, so first things first, I want to find an image. I found this one. Okay, I'm going to take this image, move it over a little bit because I want to work here. Um, maybe I'll even, I'm going to control C, control V because I want to paste this here just to make sure I put things in the right place. I'm just going to delete this picture after. Now I'm also going to click control or double click on my Chromebook. Now I put the order and put this picture to the back. So this is the very back. I'm going to click this thing that says polyline. So it might have said line on your page. But if I click polyline, I can make little lines with this. And I'm going to hold down and you can see every time I click, Now, if I want to make this look really nice, I should zoom in. And everything's a different shape. And it's going to look like this. Because I'm going to put that face in front of it. To fix this one after. Okay, now if I double click, oops, right there, and hit escape. Okay, if I double click that, now I'm going to just hold down the little dots there and make sure I have exactly what I want. Yeah. Yeah, this up a little bit. Cool. Now I could change the color to be yellow, kind of like the color they had. And I'm going to take this and put it over here. Nice. Okay, now my next picture. Let's do the other part of that. Let's do the face. Click there and I say, okay, I'm going to go right up to this spot because I'm going to cover it with that other hair. Well, that, that chin is going to be tough. Okay, I can get whatever. Reminder, if I double click, I can actually change the little dots. I'm using something like that chin that, ooh. Maybe don't do what I did there with the chin. That doesn't look great. Okay. I can take this. I'm going to put it in the same spot. Now I'm going to do this part of the hair over top. Okay, and now I'm going to try to use the circles. So I just click the circle shape and I'm putting those over top of the face. Just because it'd be really hard to draw those shapes. And I, well, you would double click and I brought those shapes to the front. So you click order, and bring to front or send back. I'm sending it back so those circles will be behind the hair. And I'm going to use the polyline to draw kind of the back of the eye there. Change it to white. And remember, if I double click that picture, I could adjust all those to make sure that they're right on. I move it over to this page, change the order, move it to the back. Other side, I'm going to get the polyline again and draw what I think is the shape. Let's just make sure they connect. And just remember, it's going to go under the hair anyway. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to have to change the order again. So I double click on a Chromebook, send it back. I might have to send it back a few times. There's a bunch of different layers here. Now I'm going to just draw around that nose using the uh, same tool and I can kind of adjust a bit. Remember if I double click on it, I can really adjust where everything is. When I'm ready, I just click again to bring it over. Last but not least, I uh, want to change the color of the nose. And I'm going to go back to the little mouth thing here. And I don't know, this tool seemed kind of tough. So I just clicked through and looked for a, a, like one of the tools, like the curve line tool or whatever. Found something I thought I could use to make that mouth. Kind of got lucky and found something. And I use that just to make a mouth. 